What you will need is a pencil and some paper and let's get to it. Hi guys, girls, non-binds, welcome back to my channel. I am Leah Solmaz. This is episode four of the How to Draw tutorial series. And in this episode, we will be learning how to draw emotions. Now, breaking down emotions, there are five principal emotions. Happiness, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust. And those are the five basic principles of emotions anyway. And I think that's in Carl Jung's psychology as well. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I don't know where the cockney came from, but let's roll with it. So I've started with this um, very apt, um, basic, <laughs> circular head um, let's just make it a bit more pleasing to the eye so round it off round it off even uh, just elongate it so it's a bit more oval like we'll divide it into the rule of thirds just to make it easier for ourselves to map out where the um, features are going to go so we're going to start with happiness happy um, so for happiness, when you think um, of someone being happy, like stereotypically, they're smiling. So um, I always like to start with the eyes. So happiness, I know myself when I'm happy, my <laughs> eyebrows tend to kind of uh, raise uh, between the uh, bridge of my nose just there. They raise a little bit and then curl and yeah. Um, and then my eyes kind of are nearly closed when I'm happy. That's uh, the crease, isn't it? The smile crease in your eyes. That's why when people say smile with your eyes, um, or rather you can tell when someone's not really happy, even though they're kind of forcing a smile, it's all to do with the eyes. I think the eyes are the, uh, the um, stage for all emotions. Uh, where you can't hide your emotions so yeah let's just give basic nose and let's give a really big cheesy grin oh, that's a bit wide that mouth but with cartoon the um, beauty of it is um, you do exaggerate the features um, a lot more than you would like a realistic drawing so I mean we could even have those eyes really like closed and that mouth even wider um, like almost like a Cheshire cat grin ear to ear but yeah that's a uh, happiness so we'll go back in to define those features um, just with a black ink pen And we can even define the cheeks just here to make it look like um, the person's laughing. That's how I draw happy. What's the next emotion? So we've got another head ready. There are actually opposite emotions, so happiness and then sadness. So for sadness, um, yeah, I mean, sadness is very much all in the eyes. Um, obviously with cartoon drawings, what you can do is like a, a downturned mouth. So what we'll do for this drawing is exactly that. Um, and eyebrows tend to be kind of raised up um, in the eyebrow area, uh, the forehead. Uh. <laughs> the bridge of the nose, just the top of the bridge of the nose, they tend to be raised up when someone's sad. And then there will be a slight frown line in the brow. Um, and yeah, I always think like top lid is very heavy and with sadness you tend to kind of look down and process the emotion. I think that's just a natural 
human thing to always look down when you're uh, sad. Um, so yeah, let's give him a bit of a um, weather looking face. Now, in typical, uh, in typical cartoon uh, drawings, or artwork even, um, what you can do is kind of like a waterline, just on the lower lid. Um, and it just blur, blur out like the, um, the inner eye. And I mean, we could even exaggerate a tear coming out there. sadness let's just write that down now next one on the list is anger so anger now anger he, um, I think is an emotion that well all emotions are kind of reactory and um, you're reacting to something um, so anger for me I think is when you haven't got a level of acceptance <laughs> so yeah um so with anger starting with the eyes let's just map where the eyes would be um most cartoon characters when they're angry have this very furrowed brow uh, just sneeze off camera <laughs> I'll probably put that in the bloopers. Um, so yeah, they have this very like, um, almost V shape um, to their eyebrows. Now, I mean, initial reaction, um, especially when you're angry, you'd have wide eyes because it is such a shock. But then I think anger, after you've ruminated on those uh, negative thoughts, uh, your eyes tend to be a lot narrower, so you're honing in on uh, the target of your anger, I guess. So we're just going to give some very comic style angry eyebrows. Um, and yeah, so with anger, uh, anger, <laughs> anger, <laughs> with anger, um, a lot of the features will be scrunched so let's just scrunch those eyes and give him some wrinkled lines there and just under the brow we can give kind of like a, um, a three fold to the um, where the brow meets the bridge of the nose just so it's showing those eyebrows are turned down and Similar to the sadness, um, we'll give some frown lines, but yeah, they'll be following the uh, V shape. V for very angry. <laughs> uh, nostrils tend to be flared when someone's ang uh, angry. God, I can't even say the word. Uh, yeah, so let's just give some really exaggerated flared nostrils. And I mean, a couple more creases there. And um, uh, typically in cartoons, um, you'll see like angry mouths, as in like a, the figure of eight, and then just kind of like a bit of a detail for where the teeth are. I think that's common in, um, say, like anime style and um, Japanese style. It's that kind of figure of eight. Uh, you can technically work it into um, normal. Um, I suppose westernized like cartoons as well so we'll just kind of give him a snarl to his lip and gritted teeth and yeah so grit those teeth there and there we don't want to define all the teeth we prob probably like could but um 
these are just basic drawings so he does look a bit angry doesn't he So yeah, that would be anger. Let's get our next head ready. And into rule of thirds again. And I think the next on my list was fear. So fear. Now with fear, it's um, usually, uh, I think think associated with shock so in cartoons um, what you can do is do really wide almost lidless eyes for fear and similar to the sadness we use those kind of eyebrows so turned up in the middle um, let's just give a button nose to this one uh, and then it will be kind of an exaggerated open mouth, kind of like a crescent moon shape. And let's just put some tiny pupils because that also um, is pertaining to shock uh, your pupils, I think shrink or is it dilate? No, dilates in large, isn't it? So I mean we can really go overboard with this as well. We can kind of give me a few uh, indents around his face to kind of just show that he's lost all colour in his face. So imagine he's seen a ghost or a monster or something like that. Yeah, that would be fear. And then last but not least, and the uh, weirdest one on the list is disgust. When you think um, disgust, it's kind of like a mixture between anger, shock. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably just kind of pertain to those two for disgust. So, shock in the eyes, I think. So, let's just do the rules of third so we're not. Yeah, he's slightly off the eye. You don't have to use rule of thirds for the faces, I just do it because um, it helps. So we'll give him some wide eyes, but with disgust, your brow tends to furrow. Mine does anyway when I'm kind of disgusted by something. Uh, flared nostrils, I suppose. And then we can kind of exaggerate this and do kind of like a, a puking face. So let's puff out those cheeks. So it's almost like so it's almost like that. Like so tight mouth, I suppose. I don't know, he looks a bit too angry. I think that brow line in there is a bit too heavy. So, how do we fix that? We'll just bring some eyebrows up. I don't know if that's uh, made it worse. But yeah, we can kind of um, bring some lids to those big eyes. And obviously, if you were working with colour, uh, you can add like a green tint um, to make it even more cartoony. Uh, if you think about um, 
emoji that looks like it's going to puke. What we can do is just kind of add uh, little perspiration drops just to make it look like it's um, whatever's disgusted our uh, character here is really affecting him to the point he's sweating. <laughs> um, another way of doing that mouth I've just thought, so I'll start in pencil could technically have like uh, an open mouth Something like that. So yeah, those are the five basic emotions um, that you can draw within a cartoon character or a comic book character. Now, of course, you can um, go overboard with those emotions and exaggerate the features even more, make wider mouths, wider eyes, and um, wider faces even. But yeah, those are the um, basic emotions to work from. So um, have fun, explore, and subscribe, guys, girls, non minds especially if you found that helpful. And if there's any emotion that you kind of struggle with drawing, let me know, and I can always uh, attack it in a future video, hopefully. And um, that is it for this episode. Good, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind, and bye. It's a pen, soul. <laughs> <laughs> What's that saying? Something about optimization. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I should start again. There's anger, uh, fear. <laughs> Just roll with it, roll with it. Come on. Yikes. So I've broken the another says episode. Let's start again. The old that you use, uh, use. <laughs> um, hold up with the other ones. Why do I keep forgetting them? <laughs> oh no. no, 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 oh come on, we were doing so well, camera. <coughs> God bless us everyone. <laughs> Maybe keep it a bitch.